We know that AI already has great significance in the modern world. AI is getting new features every day and its applications are increasing. Now we have a new AI code called Llama, created by Meta. This AI code has proven that it can satisfy many of the needs of this generation of people. Let's dive deeper. Llama 2, the newest version of Meta's huge language model, has recently been released. Llama 2 is open source, enabling anybody to use its AI capabilities for study or commercial purposes. In contrast to ChatGPT and Bing's closed source, GPT-4 and Palm 2. Although everyone may use Llama 2, Meta has required that businesses that want to develop goods for a broad market with over 700 million users obtain its approval. It has an advantage over rival products with closed source software thanks to its open nature. On a technological level, more information is still required about how Llama 2 compares to market leaders like GPT-4 in aspects like accuracy and task understanding. However, the announcement of its public debut demonstrates Meta's dedication to democratizing and disseminating the advantages of next-generation AI. Although ChatGPT and Bing Chat may have an advantage, Llama 2's open-source roots are helping it to win people over. Let's examine Llama 2's foundations in detail. A freely available large language model of the second generation, Llama 2 is produced by Meta. Chatbots like ChatGPT and Google Bard may be created with it. For it to provide cohesive and convincing results, it has been trained on a huge quantity of data. Llama 2, which was unveiled earlier this year, is the replacement for Llama 1. Llama 1 was closely guarded nonetheless, and it was only accessible upon request. The new Llama 2 model was created in collaboration with Microsoft and is accessible to everyone for research and commercial use. Soon you'll be able to run Llama 2 applications on devices other than your Windows smartphones, laptops and desktop computers. According to Meta, Llama 2 is trained on 40% more data than the original model and has a context length that is twice as long. This results in a more precise and potent language model that can produce reactions that are similar to those of humans. There are three parameter sizes for the Llama 2 LLM, 7 billion, 13 billion and 70 billion. There is one additional parameter, 34 billion, which Meta has chosen not to provide. Llama 2 is a sizable language model that may be applied in many contexts. It is more comparable to the GPT 3.5 and GPT 4 language models which enable the AI chatbot than to chat GPT as a tool. In terms of Llama 2 application cases, it may be used to develop chatbots for consumer and business use, language production, research, and the construction of other AI-powered solutions. Anyone may use, experiment with, and create tools utilizing the Llama 2 language model, which is open source and accessible. Although it is unrestricted for consumers, there are certain subtle restrictions for business users who want to create tools for millions of users. Llama 2, which is similar to ChatGPT in that it is a finished product, is not yet accessible for testing. Nevertheless, all three Llama 2 models are accessible for download from Meta's website if you're interested enough and familiar with LLMs. Llama 2 is just a set of pre-trained data created to respond to questions in a language that sounds human. It may be applied to the development of ChatGPT and Google Bard style chatbots. The businesses that created these chatbots may train the bots using the information you submit, despite the fact that they are typically secure. Furthermore, there have been cases where data theft has been carried out via these chatbots by intruders. It is best to refrain from giving these chatbots your personal information. The sort of questions asked will determine how accurate the answers are. The accuracy of the replies is also determined by the dataset on which they were trained. At the same time, we've observed Google Bard, ChatGPT and Bing Chat being ambiguous and wrong with many straightforward inquiries, while being better able to answer challenging coding-related topics. Similarly, we gave Llama 2 a variety of questions, and while it was unable to tell us who would win the 2026 FIFA World Cup, it was able to provide us with information on the tournament's likely dates. Like previous large language models, Llama generates text repeatedly by taking a string of words as input and predicting the next word. The top 20 languages with the greatest number of speakers, especially those written in the Latin and Cyrillic scripts, were given priority in the learning process of this language model. Now, what is the difference between ChatGPT and Llama AI? Let's see. 
The Llama 2 and OpenAI's GPT 3.5 language models have some small features in common, but depending on your intended purpose, there are also some significant variants. Compared to Llama 2, the GPT 3.5 language model has more training data. The GPT 3.5 language model has a greater parameter set than Llama 2. The Llama 2 language model produces output that is safer than GPT 3.5. More recent data is provided by the Llama 2 language model than by OpenAI's GPT 3.5. Llama 2 is more difficult to use than GPT 3.5. Performance-wise, however, Llama 2 outperforms ChatGPT. The Llama 2 language model outperforms the GPT 3.5 language model in the majority of benchmarks, as can be seen when looking at the information released by Meta AI. For instance, the Llama 2 language model produced a far safer result in the safety tests using the 2000 prompt. 4000 prompt exam free of coding, arithmetic and reasoning was utilized by Meta AI to assess how well the two language models perform. These test results show that the Llama 2 language model performs somewhat better. Taking into account all the comparisons and contrasts, one may argue that the Llama 2 language model is a little bit more clever and practical than the GPT 3.5. However, it is conceivable to claim that utilizing ChatGPT is simpler in terms of use cases. Text Cortex is the way to go if you're seeking an AI solution that performs better than two language models. Llama 2 is now open source and free for study and commercial usage thanks to Meta, giving the general public additional opportunities to influence and profit from the revolutionary technology. According to the blog post announcing the launch, giving businesses, startups, entrepreneurs and researchers access to tools built at a scale that would be difficult for them to build themselves and supported by computing power they might not otherwise have access to would create a world of possibilities for them to experiment and innovate in exciting ways and ultimately benefit economically and socially. Along with the launch of Llama 2, Meta also unveiled a collaboration with Microsoft's Azure cloud computing platform. Customers of Azure now have the opportunity to create applications with Llama 2. Yes, you may download Llama 2 directly, but the fine-tuning, safety and inference capabilities that are unique to using LLMs are only available through Azure's AI platform. These results are often compared to closed models. However, Llama 2 outperformed them in benchmark tests using other open-source models. Across the board, Meta's LLM fared better than other open-source models like MPT and Falcon. In conclusion, the two most well-known big language models at the moment are Llama and ChatGPT. They are both well-suited to various applications, yet each has certain benefits and drawbacks of its own. Since Llama is intended to be more effective and accessible, it is perfect for applications where resource utilization is an important consideration. On the other hand, ChatGPT is renowned for its capacity to produce extremely complex and nuanced language, which makes it the perfect choice for applications where natural language creation is important. In the end, the user's particular requirements will determine whether to employ Llama or ChatGPT. The size and resource requirements of each model, as well as their degree of flexibility and availability, should be taken into account by researchers and developers. Users may select the model that is most suited for what they require by carefully analyzing the advantages and disadvantages of each one. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed our content, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel, and comment your thoughts below in the comment section.